So when God led the people out, when God showed up in your life to lead you out, he was doing it purposely and determinedly, and he still is as he was here, even though the people couldn't understand. I mean, imagine this, he, they get let out, they plunder the wealth of Egypt when they leave, and now they roam in the desert. Having no idea where their tent's gonna be pitched that night, or when they wake up, whether they're gonna go left, or whether they're gonna go right. Can you relate to me in this? Because I can. I've had a couple of sleepless nights where I have no idea what tomorrow holds, or what God is doing, or if he was really so big and good, wouldn't he show me the next step? And he's like, nah, I ain't trying to show you the next step, son. I'm trying to show you me my sovereignty, my greatness, my provision. I don't need you hung up on what you're gonna do. I need you hung up on me. So I ain't gonna get you there the shortest route, even though it could work that way. I need you to depend on me, to come into this relationship of me, to know me in this. Because if, I, if you face war, you might turn back. Or if you get accolades too soon, you might think you did it all. You might forget me, because he had to admonish them when you come into the promised land. Don't you forget me. When you eating of them vineyards you didn't plant, drinking of them wells you didn't dig, eating of um, living in those cities your hands didn't build, don't forget me. So we had to teach them in this time. So God showed up leading and led them on the road through the Philistine country that was longer, not shorter. For God said if they face war, they might change their minds and return to Egypt. So God led the people around the desert road toward the Red Sea. And the Israelites went up from out of Egypt ready for battle. So I know you can relate to this. And if it ain't for you, listen to me, this is for me. Like I'm gonna preach just to myself here. God knows what he's doing. There wasn't a turn in this desert and there is not a turn in your life that he doesn't make purposefully when you follow correctly. How you follow, just lockstep with him. That's it. Not trying to make up your own decisions. If these boys would have ran, Ah, ah, let me show you this, let me show you this. God showed up and we thinking, as some of them did, that at times we know better. And God showed fire. Mm, hold up, hold up, let me back up, let me back up. When God comes into your life, he's not a little pin light or a little birthday candle. Our God is a consuming fire. That what? That we might follow purposefully and determinately after him with vision of him. Now look what I'm talking about. When he led these people out, he led them by a pillar of fire by day or by night and a cloud by day. Listen to me. This wasn't just a little birthday candle. We just celebrated my boy's age, right? You can blow it out. Barely lit up the room when one was lit. That was it. Like you can see it, but it wasn't doing much. Our God shows up on the scene of our life and he makes himself known. He didn't come to be hidden. Not when he hung on a cross and not when he reveals the truth by the Holy Spirit that Jesus is Lord. He shows up to be seen and he ain't doing it to um, be overlooked. So he comes as a consuming fire and that fire radiates everywhere. Revealing what? Not just the straight ahead path that we you to walk diligently following behind, but he shows you the left and he shows you the right. And as you follow, he says, don't go that way. Why? Because I'm blazing the trail straight ahead. Don't go to the right and don't go to the left. But he's showing you the pitfalls on each side of this. See what I'm talking about? And Moses led them diligently in the straight way. Paul did the same thing. Now imitate me as I imitate Christ. Follow me down this path, following this consuming fire of a God. What, that you might not fall in the pit on the right and the left. 